It's my birthday weekend, and what better way to celebrate it but by being surrounded by Model A's. We started here at Doug Clayton's collection, and after this, we're gonna go to Sutter Creek, where we'll meet up with the Modesto Area Model A group. We're gonna go all over the hills, driving everywhere. Some of the places are in right there in Sutter Creek, some are in Volcano, and the last stop on the third day will be in Jackson. So I hope you'll join me during this birthday fun, and enjoy the show. Well, we made it to Sutter Creek, California, and Paul booked us here at this hotel. So it'd be nice, All a bunch of the other friends of ours from the Modesto Model A's are staying here also. Some of them are out to pizza right now. There's kind of a funny thing about this hotel. I guess they remodeled it and we decided to go on there and see what's there that, that they have to offer. Come to find out there are a lot of really bad reviews. Now this was last year when they were doing the remodel of this whole place. So hopefully things have changed and we'll get a good positive outcome out of it. There's Paul. Hey Paul, what do you think? You think the people are gonna be right and it's gonna be a dump? No, I don't think this is gonna be a dump at all. Good. I hear the beds feel like cardboard. Let's find out. Should I do the dive and you see? You have to. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> I'll see if I get winded or not. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you the tour. Paul's putting away our little snacks. Oh, yeah, we got this uh, Henry and David snack yeah. box. So. It's pretty tasty. Oh, um, some oh of it's already gosh. in the fridge, but yeah, we have all kinds of goodies here. Yeah, a little glow around the mirror thing going on, nice sink and everything, beautiful shower, that's pretty cool. Wow, they really did do a nice job with this remodel, looks really pretty. Front room looking area with a desk, coffee, all that stuff, big screen, drawers, the main bedroom here. Is this a suite or something, Paul? Yes. Okay. It's hot! <laughs> well, it is pretty firm. Yeah. I would not say it's cardboard like like some people were saying. So I think we'll get a good night's sleep. Good job, Paul. Thank you. Well, I don't know what it was like while they were remodeling, but I'd say it looks pretty nice now. Oh yeah, this is rock hard. Is that rock hard? Rock hard, yes. <laughs> Good morning. We had a good night's sleep and now it is time to get going. We're going on a tour to the Knights Foundry. So we're going to go over there, see what's there, and I'll share it with you. that powers this facility. Somebody asked, was this place run by steam? Yes, everything was run by steam until this water motor was invented. This is the first time they could replace steam. This could run somewhere around 150 horsepower, according to the catalogs. A 36 incher at 170 or at 150 PSI would get about 150 horsepower. This one motor, we're gonna turn everything on but we're gonna do it after we come back. So at any rate, this motor was run off of this water line right here. And this water line goes up to uh, Ridge Road and where Amador Waterworks is. 
and that's about uh, 450 feet higher than we are here that gives you 170 psi static water pressure so this is a fire hose there's a nozzle down in there and it is like a fire hose that's where the whole idea came from all of the uh, plaster mining and then they started building all these canals in the whole mother road, up and down, north and south, Mariposa all the way to Auburn. And uh, the water was being collected all the way up to Blue Lake. Blue Lake was actually one of the reservoirs started pretty early on. It was set up for hydroelectric power, actually. Uh, this powered the entire facility. So if you look back around, you see lots of belts and pulleys. We're going to turn them on when we come back in. I'm going to turn on the power. Over that way, just over by that table. Yeah, just to look at the physical space here, we've got uh, a cupola furnaces over there, those tall things that go through the roof. And the cupola furnaces are used for iron. And uh, we've restored the small one on the right. And we've actually poured iron a half a dozen times. Mostly we pour it for some museums. So we've got a restoring locomotive. Um, we've uh, poured uh, a couple of times for the Northern Nevada Railway Museum in Eli, or Eli Nevada. And uh, we also just did some breaks. Uh, that was uh, fire grates for them. Some 20 different, two different types of fire grates. And we built the patterns for them. And uh, you know, here's a portion of a pattern made out of wood. Um, we also just did some in January for uh, Niles Canyon Railway Museum oh, yeah. over in Sonal, Fremont area. And we did brake shoes for them and some other things. We actually had a, um, 
a little video um, put on by uh, Channel, I think Channel 11 uh, News, NBC News came and filmed us and them. For our tour days, which is the second Saturday of the month, we use a crucible furnace, which is a small uh, and gas powered. Um, so we're pouring aluminum my other half onto that guy and put the rest of the patterns in there and uh, pack sand on the back of that. And so then by the time you finish that effort, um, you'll take it apart again. It's got a little parting powder on here so that the sand won't stick to the sand. Then you pick out these pieces and um, we'll put a hole through this mark right here and that can make a little connection in here. And so the metal will go down that hole and into this base. And the little tool here creates this well. And then right at there, at that point, you've got a gate so that you don't have to cut a bunch of metal to separate. So if you would like to visit Knight's Foundry, this place is amazing. If you think it's cool on video, it's way cooler in real life. So here is the website you can go to, check it out. You can get directions on how to get here and come enjoy a little piece of history for yourself.